Iran is pursuing two parallel paths toward a nuclear weapons capability. One path involves the production of plutonium. To produce this element, Iran is building a heavy water nuclear reactor near the city of Iraq. Heavy water reactors use naturally occurring uranium as fuel and produce large amounts of plutonium, a fissile material that can be used to build a nuclear weapon. One grapefruit-sized sphere of plutonium is enough to devastate a small city with an atomic blast. Once completed, Iran's reactor at Iraq can produce enough plutonium to make two nuclear weapons every year. In order to block Iran's path to a plutonium bomb, the regime must be forced to dismantle the Iraq facility or convert it to a light water reactor that doesn't pose the same danger of producing a nuclear weapon. In addition to the plutonium path, Iran is simultaneously enriching uranium to build a nuclear weapons capability. Uranium is a naturally occurring element that Iran mines and has imported. Within uranium is an isotope called uranium-235. This isotope is the key component for nuclear energy and nuclear weapons. However, it makes up less than 1% of naturally occurring uranium. In order for uranium to be used for energy or nuclear weapons, the percentage of uranium-235 must be increased. This process is called enrichment. Enriching uranium requires a centrifuge, a tall cylinder that spins at a fast speed. The force generated by the spinning tube separates out the uranium-235 from the rest of the uranium. Iran currently has nearly 20,000 centrifuges installed to enrich uranium and 9,000 in operation. Iran is also developing more advanced centrifuges to speed up the enrichment process. With its current infrastructure, Iran could produce enough weapons-grade uranium for a bomb in just two months. In order to block Iran's nuclear weapons pursuit, the regime must be forced to dismantle centrifuges so that it cannot have a uranium path to a bomb.